All right, DJ Hermat coming at ya. It is time for some more LA, LA Noir right here on Hermat 1. We're continuing where we left off yesterday. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I believe it is called the Golden Butterfly. Some of that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I'm not sure exactly where this left me off, but you know, the, the save feature on this game, the auto save, is kind of wonky. It doesn't save where you think it does. But obviously, if I'm on the Golden Butterfly, then probably I don't know either. We're gonna see a cutscene, or we're just gonna start walking like we did last night. Nope, we get to watch the cutscene. Enjoy. <laughs> Ah, uh, you know that felt good. Slight headache. Galloway. Got it, Skipper. Yeah, I'll bring him. He's my partner, after all. What have we got? New case. White female dumped in plain sight in the grass at the end of Hill Street. Hacks are all over it. Captain's trying to fend him off. That sounds awfully similar. The first rule of police work is make no assumptions until you've seen the evidence. Skipper wants you to have your newspaper face on, college boy. I think I know the place where they found All the right. lady. It overlooks Sunset Boulevard. Let's go. Well, looks like we're gonna... This guy's really nice. <laughs> Just... I want to make homicide. You know you made it if you can get that desk. Yeah. And we have made it, because we're that good. Now we just need to... I don't understand. The golden butterfly, we must have... I'm walking right into a door. Alright, must have something to do... with uh, a butterfly. Like a... Like a hey, hello. You did a decent job on the Henry case, Phelps. Not bad for your first time at that. Thanks, Rusty. But don't go getting ahead of yourself. That's one clearance under your belt. Now it's a new day with a new dead lady that needs our attention. And no assumptions until we see the evidence, right? Right. See, I knew you were a fast learner, Phelps. You might get along after all. <laughs> You're taking the next left. Oh, shit. Come on, dude, go. You're making a right at the next intersection. I totally can't. Pardon me. I know, he should be driving normally, but... I don't wanna. <laughs> I'm the police, damn it. Oh, whoops, wait a minute. Hang on a second, back up. <laughs> well, what the hell, you told me to turn right. I turned right and we're nowhere near where we need to be. Well, crap. To the truth. <laughs> We're so out of the zone, you can't even tell me where to go. Okay, so go left at the next one. Alright, we'll go left at the next one. This place is like a. Hang on a minute. Ooh, shit, that would have sucked ass. <laughs> Alleyways here. Ah, here we are. 
Okay. Ha. Now, boys, boys, you know as much as I do. I'll be holding a press conference once the autopsy is being completed. <coughs> I have two of my finest investigators on the case, fresh from bringing down the sword of justice on the crazed sex. Captain, of aren't Wendis. there similarities between this murder and the murder of Celine Henry? And of Elizabeth Short for that So you don't matter. believe there's a crazed sex killer at large boys, preying on women? Boys, be sensible. We have the greatest police force in all the world, with the greatest scientific investigators yeah. at our disposal. How can any killer continue to beat that? Be advised. We keep the gas chamber at San Quentin primed for the sons of Cain who continue to believe they can take a life in the city of angels. Yeah, right. Any new leads in the Dahlia case? He wants to punch this dude. Run along, boys, and let these officers get to work. We have God's work to do here, and it can't be delayed. <laughs> what do we have, Captain? <laughs> Another woman sacrificed. Speak to Carruthers. I want daily reports, gentlemen. All right. Carruthers. I was first on scene. All these cops, gotta be something big, right? You find her, Gonzalez? Not me. Family out for a stroll. I was first reporting. Can you show me the body? It's under the pepper tree, this way. Right, well, we gotta find the coroner. So, what's going on over there? I'm assuming the coroner must be by the dead body. At least I hope. Can't be much help to you, Phelps. Here she is. Another. Similar MO. The what? The Dahlia? <coughs> I don't think so. Celine Henry. That's a closed case. This is probably another sad sack who lost his temper with a broad who wouldn't put out. Are you a suspect, Rusty? Watch your <laughs> mouth, Phelps. All I'm saying is we got enough to do without reopening closed cases. Talk me through it, Mal. Severely battered, on display. Footprints would indicate that she has been stomped. Size of the footprints would seem to indicate a smallish men's shoe. What size shoe did Mendez wear? You finished? No, I'm not. At a glance, I would say strangulation is the cause of death. I'll need to do further tests for semen. Angry boyfriend. If they were married, they'd be at home. Not humping out here in Lover's Lane. You mind if I examine the body? Be my guest. All right. Well, let's check and see what we can find here. Looks like she was tied up. She does it first, but that would leave a mark on her other wrist, too. I think her watch might have been torn off. Ah, that makes sense. That's this mark. Cut on the finger. Fourth finger, left hand. A wedding or engagement ring. Violent very very move. familiar. Look at your mark. It's very distinctive. <clears throat> I'll do some comparisons back at the lab and get back to you. Oof. The stomping angle in the Henry case. Was it reported in the press? Sure was. Every detail a copycat would want was there in the story. You catch all the good ones, Phelps. Damn. <clears throat> well, we have a name. Can you run Deirdre Muller by R&I? Back in a second. Huh. Uh, Parent Teacher Association. Uh, it's part of the PTA. How nice. If the motive was robbery, why not take the money? That's right. Okay. Detective. R&I says a Deidre Mahler of 130 North Bonnie Bray was reported missing this morning by her husband, Hugo Mahler. I tell you, it's 
grab the husband, take him downtown, and work him over. And have this wrapped up by lunchtime. What about not making assumptions and going another on day, the evidence? Another dollar. Uh, there should be more. Let's see. Uh, Never the same, are they? Interesting. Okay. Well, they found everything we needed here. <coughs> hmm. Just trying to think, where would we go though? <laughs> Do we have a location? Like people? Uh, okay, Hugo. Ah, maybe we'll be going to the... Yep. Miller Residence. Okay. Alright. Let's go to the Muller Residence. All these cars got to be something big. Is my buddy following me? Oh, he must already be in the car or by the car. Yeah, he is. He's already in the car. Fuck that shit. Okay. Muller residence. Still might be some playing the boyfriend angle. I thought we were on our way to lock up the husband. If it doesn't work out, that is. Deirdre Muller has suffered enough. More than enough. You shouldn't make disparaging comments about her without even the slightest inkling of what she was like. She was a woman, wasn't she? Well, around about my third divorce, I realized women might not be the pure angels we imagined. You're married, ain't you, Phelps? Don't make any insinuations about my wife. Hey, she's a woman. She's the mother of my children. <laughs> you're a father, Cole? But don't tell me your eye don't bend. This conversation is over. <laughs> All units, officer needs help. 211 and shots fired. 391 Broadway, Mallory's Cafe. 391 Broadway. Unit to handle code 3, identify. Yeah, I'm not going to that. Stick with the story. You don't need to turn here. Well, obviously another naked woman case. Go right through here. <laughs> yeah, I crashed. It's left at the next intersection. Atta boy, up there you go right now. neighborhood straight through the next intersection all right we're gonna go straight this is very similar to that one that with the movie stars isn't it no not movie stars the one we did before this with the ugh, that last one we did last night but I thought we arrested the dude The boonies. Code 
Take the next right. Take the next right? Okay. Will do. Very interesting. And left. Left it is. Man, they're way out of town. Stay on this road. Staying on this road. We're going straight here. Okay. We're taking the next left. <laughs> Excellent driving, Harmac. Yeah, that's right, it is. Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. Is your father home? He'll be home soon. He's been out looking for mommy. What's your name, miss? Michelle Eloise Mahler. Can we come in? I suppose so. Thank you. Could you have a seat for me, Michelle? <laughs> We're going to have a look around. All right. He'll be back any moment. Just sit tight. Come on, you blinked it. There we go. A violin. My partner will explain everything when he gets back, okay? There's nothing to worry about. See if there's anything worth anything here. Not much help. Nope. All right. Check the parents' room. Ah. Work boots. Size eight. <coughs> what do we got here? Elgin wristwatch. Probably uh, the same one snatched from her body. Hmm. What do we got here? No sign of a wedding ring. Well, according to the music, that's all we'll find, but I wonder if there's any of those newspapers here. No, nope, can't go in that door. All right, looks like there's not much of the house to... Oh, wait, we got the kitchen. What do we got here? Just looking to see if there's like a paper or something. Nope. All right, let's talk. So what next? All right. <laughs> Clicked at the wrong time. Is this about mommy? Daddy is trying to find her. Please tell me she's okay. I'm sorry to have to tell you this, Michelle. <laughs> your mother is dead. <laughs> uh, do you think you could answer a few questions for us? I could try. Well, I gotta do better with the crying. All right, missing watch and rings. Some of your mother's jewelry was missing. Can you describe her things? Ring, watch. 
I never paid much attention to that stuff. Uh, she's telling the truth, I think. I know it's painful, Michelle, but this may be important. She wore a wedding ring. Tommy chose it herself. The rose gold wedding band and the matching diamond and ruby engagement ring. She wore a watch? Yes, a yellow gold Elgin watch. Daddy bought it for her birthday. They had a fight. It was kind of a makeup present. Ah, uh, buying love. Gotta love that. <laughs> when did you last see your mother? Yesterday afternoon. I went to a dance at Belmont High. Mommy was supposed to pick me up, but she didn't show. So what did you do then? I was upset. Daddy came instead. Uh, no, you're not being quite honest. So you were hanging around the school for quite a while. What happened with your father? I don't know. I called and called and finally he answered. He came straight away then. Huh. State of parents' marriage. Your mom and dad are uh, happily married? What are you saying? Of course they are. No. <laughs> Eyes are wandering. They weren't happy, were they, Michelle? Did your father ever hit your mother? Just the once. She said she would leave him if he ever did it again. Got her a brooch pin to make up for it. And they always wore her golden butterfly. Thanks, Miss Muller. <sighs> All right. You've been very brave. Ah. Hey! What did? Daddy, the police are here. Go to your room, please, Michelle. <laughs> I'll talk to the police. Daddy, mommy is gone. Go to your room, young lady. She's not even out of school. You can't come in here interrogating her like she's your some kind of... Your wife was found murdered this morning. Found? What the... But, but she only... We have some questions that we would like to ask you. Sure. Questions. Yeah, I'll do my best. All right. Let's see how we do here. Footprints at the crime scene. What size shoe do you wear, Mr. Muller? Why do you ask? It's routine, sir. Simple process of elimination. Nines, I think. That's not true. You freaking wear a size 8. No. Why are you lying to me, Mr. Muller? <clears throat> Why would I lie to you at a time like this? Work boots. Where are you? Uh... That's funny. The work there boots we, we found here are size 8s. Why lie about it if you've got nothing to hide? Because I always get teased about the size of my feet. <laughs> you know, small feet, small... Always been true in my experience. <laughs> <laughs> missing persons report. <laughs> you phoned in a missing persons report this morning? Yeah, that's right. Uh, my wife didn't come home last night. She left around... She left around 9.30. Uh, Michelle was out at dance. She called me to let me know that Deidre didn't turn up. But she called and called. Nah. Did your wife ever go out by herself? To bars? Nightclubs? No. What are you, what are you suggesting? You suggesting my wife's loose? <laughs> now is not the time for you to be pushing me, mister. Your daughter said you were having an argument. We argued about who would pick up Michelle. I worked a full day. I wanted to come home, put my feet up. Right. Alibi. For Hugo Muller. So you were here all night. <clears throat> you stayed in while your wife went out to pick up your daughter? Yes, that's correct. Dude, we've got an alibi for... No. No, come on now. You should come clean if you're having an affair or if there's something going on. I told you I was here. Were you saying I wasn't? Ah, husband's alibi. So why did you take so long to answer the phone when your daughter called? Okay, I went out for a while. I was, I was driving around. It's my way of relaxing. All right. 
History of violence. Your wife was beaten and then strangled. In your case, you have no alibi and a history of violence towards your wife. That's not, that's not true, goddammit. Yeah, it is. The daughter said that you gave, yeah, the butterfly uh, brooch. It is true, Hugo. You're a violent <laughs> man. You try to keep a lid on it at home, but sometimes you lost control. Your daughter and your wife were scared of you. You don't know anything about me. I can tell you got a temper butterfly brooch. I know about the golden butterfly, Hugo, and how you <laughs> bought your wife off the last <laughs> time you heard her. She liked to spend money, all right? Dresses, uh, jewelry, her hair. It drove me goddamn crazy. Do I look like a Rockefeller? Nobody likes a cheapskate, Hugo. Getting hostile <laughs> with us is a very bad idea, Hugo. I'm no murderer. Make some arrangements for your daughter, and then present yourself to Central Station for questioning. You gotta be kidding me, Felt. Put the cuffs on it. This is an outrage! I didn't kill my wife! Your daughter is in the next room, Muller, so I'm giving you a break. Don't make me change my mind, and don't make me come looking for you. <laughs> wow, the police were a little bit nicer back then. <laughs> you should go back in there and bust his ass. One, we need to break his alibi. Check phone records, canvas the neighbors. Two, we have motive of domestic violence, which probably goes for half the men in L.A. Three, we have no evidence tying him to the crime scene. Hello, detective. <laughs> yes. Jesus Christ, she's got a lot of flowers in her yard. Yes, ma'am. I heard the terrible news over the radio. And you can help us with our inquiries? Yes, sir. They had a row last night. I heard Mrs. Muller screaming. Did you see Mrs. Muller come home late last night at all? No, not at all. <laughs> I did see Mr. Muller put something in the incinerator earlier this morning, though. I told you he was our guy. Now let's get this bum downtown and into a cell. Look, there he is now. Step away from the incinerator. Don't let him get away. Okay, but no shooting. We need this guy to make the case. Gonna tackle your ass. Come here. Damn it. Enough running, Hugo. Hands where we can see them. <clears throat> now, let's see what are we trying to burn here. This doesn't look good, Hugo. <laughs> I, I can explain the blood. Uh... Get him booked in at Central, officer. Then put him in an interview room. We'll be speaking with him later. And inform the cat. Yes, sir, detective. Is there someone you can call, miss? I, I don't know at the moment. You need somewhere to stay, Michelle. You have other family, grandparents, aunts or uncle? Call Aunt Helen, but she lives in Bakersfield and... Call her. We're going to get someone down here from Juvenile Hall to talk to you in the meantime. <clears throat> we ought to get some uniforms down here, clean up, take care of the kid. That daughter's having a bad day. <laughs> uh, it's the kids that Galloway. Suffer. Homicide division. Kids are suffering. Five, six, end. four. Go ahead, detective. We get Ray Pinker and a technical services team to a house at 130 North Bonnie Bray Street and send someone down from Juvenile Hall to look after a young lady. Roger, 11K. Inform Detective Phelps that the coroner has a report waiting. Please morgue downtown when he's available. Got it, KGPL. Central Morgue. And why is there... Should I supposed to call for the school? 
Now well, let's go to Central Morgue. Stay right there. We're gonna check and see if we can call. Just been paid. Look about him. Apparently, Cole Phelps, batch twelve forty-seven. How can I help, detective? I need an address on a Belmont High School. That's what I thought. Checking I had to for call. you, detective. Belmont High, one five seven five West Second Street. Thanks, ma'am. All right, we're gonna go there first before the morgue. Let's follow this stuff in order if we can. Okay, at the next corner, go right. All right, well. I'm surprised, you know. I didn't make the husband for it. Always make the husband, Phelps. Nine times out of ten, it's the closest person to the Vic who does the deed. God knows I've wanted to kill some wives in my day. Lex parsimonii. What? The law of parsimony. Occam's razor. The simplest explanation is most likely the correct one. You know, you could have said that without uh, getting all the church uh, uh, I'll try to dumb things down from now on. Appreciate it. <laughs> And try this one on for size. Rusty's razor. How's that go? You blame the guy that's banging her. Ah, of course. The famous Lex Ignoramus. Closes cases, Cole. Puts a lot of people away, that one. Any central unit, car 16L reports a possible jumper at 8th and Hope, the Methodist Church unit to handle code 2 identify. Let's see, where do we need to go? Any central unit, a possible 288 at Belmont High School. 1575 West 2nd Street. Stand by for further unit to handle. Identify code 2. 11K to KGBL. We'll take the 288. Go ahead with the further. We're making a right at the next intersection. Up ahead, you make a right. Ah, oh, come on, get out of the way. Ah, come on. I need you to take a left at the next corner. All right, we're taking a left. Attaboy, up there you go right now. And damn it, get out of the way. Belmont High School. Ah. Oh. Unveiling Emmy. It's the first season since Bad Regressioning's over. We have to go. I told you I can't Saturday. I'm busy. Did you where? You're going on another drive with Davy Gardner, aren't you? So what if I am? Go, Phelps. I'll take the car and see if I can cut him off. Okay, well, let me do the gun thing. You ain't gonna get away from me, bitch. Hurry, you can still catch him. Damn it, get off the sign. God damn, this dude's hard to catch. Uh, 
That's far enough, freak. You move a muscle and you're a dead man. Whew. <laughs> and that's how that's done. 11K, go ahead. 11K, see the janitor. A green 1946 coupe registered to a Mrs. Hugo Moeller has been found in the parking lot adjoining the Belmont High School and playing fields. 11K, code 2. Oh, interesting. Who's asking? We can do this the easy way or the hard way. Name's Eli Rooney. You've been in trouble <laughs> with the law before, Eli? Some. What are you doing around here? I, I like to keep an eye on the children. Strictly <laughs> paternal, <laughs> is it, Eli? Don't sass me, boy. A woman was abducted here last night, Eli, and murdered. And I would love to make you for that, you loki motherfucker. Well, I wouldn't know nothing about that. A woman, you say? I like them a little younger than that. Turn out your pockets, Eli. Now, why would I do that? Because I'm about to break your fucking skull, Eli. You're under arrest, Eli. You are in very deep oh, trouble. Oh, boy. Get some backup down here, Rusty. We need to get this one downtown and into a cell. Yeah, you I'll do. I'll tell them we got a kitty. Uh, that was a weird cut. Uh, kitty pervert. Nice. What time did you see the person park the car? Late last night. After school <coughs> social, maybe 1 a.m. I've been keeping a good eye out lately. We've had problems with the child molester. Eli Rooney. We've met him. Filthy son of a bitch. He was here yesterday before the dance. Was it him you saw park the car? I don't know, sir. I'd like to say yes, but the truth is it was pretty dark. Would you say Rooney is violent? Yes, sir. I would say so, yes. Thanks for your help. Well... Music went away. What do we got in here? Oh, ho, ho, ho. Blood and skin samples. We better get Ray Pinker out here. Want much? <laughs> wow. It's from a Chrysler. Could be important. Are you drunk, Carmack? The overalls are no, I gotta work tomorrow. <laughs> Muller is a mechanic. I wonder what Eli he does for no. a living. Hmm. How are you, Nick? <laughs> Doing good. All right. Need to make a call. Got to call the coroner. Whoa, I'm running awfully fast all of a sudden. Okay. This makes me want to play this game again. Or maybe I don't need to make a call. I thought that we had to tell the guy that, well. Okay, I guess we go visit the coroner. Make up your damn 11 King line. calling KGPL. KGPL, go ahead, 11 K. We found evidence in a vehicle at Belmont High School, 1575 West 2nd Street. We need Ray Pinker and a tech services team. Roger, 11 King. Also requesting interrogation to be set up at Central for both suspects currently being held in the Moeller case, KGPL. All right. You're making your right at the next intersection. 
I don't know about this. My gut says Muller. We caught him trying to destroy evidence in his backyard, and that was his car with the bloody tools in it. I never said it wasn't Muller. Hell, he probably killed his wife, deprived that poor kid of a mother. But he's not in immediate danger to anyone else. Rooney's a threat to every kid at Belmont. He's a peeper, Rusty. We can pick him up for something else. You really want to run that risk? I say we make Rooney for this. I think we should lay it on him. He was near the car, he had her jewelry, the DA will love him for it. Even if he didn't do it? Who cares whether he did it? You have kids, Phelps? He needs to be taken permanently out of harm's way. And we let Mueller slide? For a while. He gets a free pass for now. You are a terrible driver. I am. I'm not gonna lie. Excuse me. Pardon me. Coming through! Go right through here. The streets get busy at night. <laughs> well, keep on going. I think Pez drunk. No, I'm not drunk. Stay on this road. Pez eating while driving. Okay, so go left at the next one. Wendy's triples. <laughs> you mean this is how you normally drive? In a video game, yes. In real life, no. <laughs> Keep on straight. Excuse me, coming through. Look out. This is a case of art imitating life. <laughs> this is what he looks like when he's driving down 90 to Cleveland. Yeah, right. Not at all. <laughs> Laughing. Raid on Harmac 1. Uh, Rusty, thanks for coming. Can you blood type the shoes that we bagged and see if they're a match? Sure. It'll all be in the report, but I'm assuming you want the details now? Please. Cause of death is strangulation? Eating Taco Correct. Bell. Yeah, take a look at the samples on the bench. Wendy's. Hardy's. Hardy har har. <laughs> Oh, God. Okay. Bit tasty. Hmm. That doesn't match. Let's try this one. No. Normal Are you measuring your boat? penis? On boats? No, I'm busy playing lines. the game right now. Correct. I'll measure later. Although Ray says that they're sometimes used as bell ropes in churches. Hmm. So are we Stop looking for a, a sailor or a minister? Well, in my experience, sailors seem to have a me. greater libido. Was Mrs. Muller criminally attacked? No external or internal traces of semen. Thanks, Mal. If anything else comes up, you let us know. Uh, the music main, is main, still main, playing. Main. Music is still playing. Hmm. I don't know. The shoe prints? Size eights. Very similar to the impressions from the Henry case. Now, who do we remember who got caught in bloody size eights? I huh. think we have our bird. Possibly. We've got to nail this guy. Okay, if you're finished jawing, we need to get moving. All right. 
Well, I guess. Row, row, row your boat. Row your boat. This ain't a boat thing. This is a police matter. <laughs> Motor boat. Yeah. All right. Locations. Central Police. Cock, cock, cock. Not exactly the happiest of places, the coroner's office. Carruthers is a good man, professional, diligent. If you're working with a pro, it's easy to overlook the grim realities of a place like that. Funny job, that, the coroners. How so? You know, you don't want them join their work too much. The wrong kind of man can get awfully lonely rattling around a joint full of corpses. Rusty, that's like something out of the pulps. You've been reading the same ones as me? I thought you were usually too drunk to get through a magazine. <laughs> you know, if I close one eye and squint, you can just about make out. Call out call an Uber next time. Don't turn here. There we go. Police station. Call an Uber. Really? I'm not gonna call an Uber. Uber wasn't around back then, anyway. You better not go soft on me, you fellas. We'll work the evidence, Rusty. Let him do the rest. Are they ready? Molders in two and the perverts in one. Get in there and get a conviction. Oh, well, shit. Okay. Need to go... Interview room. Where is Stabler and Benson? Here's where we <laughs> stand, Hugo. Your next door neighbor heard screaming coming from your house. You were burning your blood-stained shoes. You have no one who can confirm your whereabouts last night. Your daughter says you're a violent man. We have everything we need to send you to death row. And all you have to say for yourself is, I didn't do it. <laughs> I swear I didn't kill her. Give me that light test. I can prove it. Yeah, because those are trustworthy. All right, let's see. Disposal of items. Why did you burn your shoes, Hugo? Because I knew you'd never believe me. In the criminal justice system, sexually based offenses are considered especially heinous. <laughs> Why did you burn one. your damn shoes, Hugo? It's blood, it's blood. In New York City, the dedicated detectives who the investigate these vicious felonies are members of an elite squad known as the Special Victims. Alright, let's see. Access to braided rope. Do you know anything about ropes, Hugo? As much as the next man. Unit. I, I was a scout. These are their I stories. I in the army. You learned to strangle with the rope in the army? With rope, with uh, my bare hands, but mainly with wire. I learned a lot of things in the army, but I, I still didn't kill my wife. For argument's sake, what type of rope would you use? If I had to, I would use a triple braid. Less flex, easier to control. Huh. Access to the tire iron. Your wife was beaten with a tire iron, Hugo. An appropriate choice of tool for a mechanic. I know nothing about any tire iron. <laughs> You're such a liar. We have evidence of the Damn tire Damn it, Hugo. Iron. You're lying, Hugo. You're gonna have to come clean on this. You got no proof. <clears throat> tire iron. Your wife drove a Chevrolet, Hugo. What make you of car do you drive? You Hugo. A Chrysler Airflow. <laughs> so I guess that explains why the tire iron that killed your wife came from a Chrysler. Hugo Boss. All right, victim's vehicle recovered. We found your wife's car. Someone parked it at the school late last night. Do you have anything to say about that? It wasn't me. Where do you keep your Come work on, clothes? Hugo. I keep them Confess. in my locker. Uh, you know you don't. They were in the trunk. 
Enough lies, Hugo. Your overalls put you at the scene of the crime last night. My overalls are in the laundry of my house. Del Griffith did it. Green overalls, bloodstained, with the initials HM found in the trunk of your wife's car. Call Stabler. They can't be mine. Why, Hugo? Because if they were yours, they'd be in the incinerator too? <laughs> and iced tea. Ah, I'm gonna leave investigation. Has twitching. All right, let's go and check out the next guy. Interrogation. On one slash care for a Bud Light. Captain. We were on our way to interview Eli Rooney. Yes, Phelps, I know. This particular fiend is an old acquaintance. I have tried to reaffirm his belief in the wrathful and terrible God. Whichever way it goes, <laughs> I'll be dealing personally with him. You got a stake out down there. Oh, great. You got the captain's vendetta on you, Eli. You look like you've had it rough. You see me ask for your sympathy, it. boy? <laughs> they found a beanie head. On one Down slash is luck, the Plex Eli. server still active. I had worse. My family ate roadkill during the Dust Bowl. But you have a job. A parolee has to have a job, correct? I had me a job down in San Pedro. Plex, 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 I'm Plex. For something new. This place you worked have a name? Hennessy Marine. Big Eric Babes. Can't misplace big yellow letters HM out front. They give you any work wear, Eli? Sure. Green coverall. Dang thing was hot, felt like I was back in the pen wearing it. No, <sighs> I LL give you the M by details later. Just download. You ever tie the up ad. any of your victims? I terminated Eli. it Monday. It's not a nice thing. Everything to go is call up and that. running here. What Skipping would you the call rest. Them? That's his I gangster name. Eric Bates. I long time ago on one slash talk okay. About the I like. Talking about it just seems to get people's dander up. Answer the goddamn question, Rooney, before I brain you. See what I mean? <laughs> Short answer is yes. You have any preference regarding rope, Eli? I know a good rope from a bad rope, if that's what you mean. That's not what you mean, is it? Any is the carrot top? He's telling the truth. One boy like you, Eli, must prefer McGay for roping. Am I right? I prefer braid. Tie hitching braid stays tied. All right, motive for Muller murder. You killed Mrs. Muller and stole her jewelry. That ain't so. Ain't done nothing like that. Uh, you can't look at me. <laughs> You have no job. Del Griffith has beast been for you. I've read on Telegram money. that some had issues. Trouble before, Eli. Who do you think a jury will believe? I've been in trouble for other things, but I ain't never killed no one. I saw that car coming to the parking lot late last night. Been okay, Man, but hey, they've been on it a lot. Coveralls in the trunk. Supreme has been great for I me so far. I saw a butterfly in the lamplight, and he strolled out, cool as you like. And I went over and I picked it up. Footprints at the crime scene. Sir Preen is good, but I need three like? connections. I like anything I get my hands on. I'm wearing a leather. On it right now, watching the Rockets Warriors game. You're maybe 5'5, five, 5'6 five, five, tops. You can't you wear it, size just 11s? One I don't think so, Eli. That might be on the large side. Maybe 10s. Maybe 8s. Now that I come to think of it. Why Under punish children bucks? with your iniquity, Eli? You think I was never punished? You must know what you're doing is evil. Well, I son, think so. Nobody's perfect. This is also one IP, but I never take it outside of home. Eli Rooney, I'm charging you with the first degree murder of Deirdre Muller. You want to put me back in the stir that badly, boy? You go ahead and try. I'll beat that rap. 
I ain't a killer. I did not see it on the website. <laughs> but did not look too hard. Where is Leroy Sabo? Bitch slap. Hit <laughs> Benson. Ah, uh, Phelps, Galloway. Congratulations are at hand. Drink, boys? Ha ha, saw I him the other day. I think you'll receive a commendation for this one, gentlemen. In the meantime, I'll Leroy speak to the DA about expediting the passage of the case. We need swift and merciless justice for poor Deirdre. Harmack was at that part, I think, on Monday. When I heard the name, I lost it. <laughs> I think he took a clip of it. Attorney. Five star. No, that was just the panties part. <laughs> and yesterday, the nudie bitch. There was another one today. You missed it. And the states part. Bell, oh, damn. We captured two regular army. Lieutenant! Bell, we've been over this. That sniper barely missed you back on the beach. Until the mission is over, there'll be no more saluting or signs of rank. I'm in charge here, Medier! Do you wish to interrogate the prisoners? No, they're beat. Why they look so sullen? They're wondering why we haven't killed them yet. There is no greater shame than being taken prisoner. Get this golden boy. I just seem to know what he's doing. Kiss <laughs> Umutarunda. See that boys? He slapped that jap right upside the head. It was merely to remind him of his place. His shame was the tone of voice that he used with a superior. Ohio Devil, Japanese please people. translate. Respect, we're here to kill the sons of bitches. Do you know why we are fighting the Japanese private? With respect, sir, these bastards attacked Pearl Harbor. And why did they attack Pearl, private? Because they hate the U.S. of A and our way of life. They attacked the U.S. because we cut off their oil. What would we do if another country denied us the gas to run our cars? It always comes down to oil. Oil this, oil that. Oop, a silk stocking wearer. Translate the same what? things that Mike wears. Frosty is Asian, not me. Ah, Phelps. I was just discussing with Finbar here how well you were doing. Have a seat. Yeah, my real name. Finbler. And you can just forget all about it. Oiling boys skates have up. A new case. A poor Hispanic woman murdered near City Hall and left lying naked in an alleyway. Another naked woman, sir? Yes. We seem to have had quite a run of them since the Dahlia fiends first struck. Phelps is politely trying to hint that he More thinks nudies. the Mendes case is hopeless. More Harmac loves to oil skates well, up. Well, Phelps, you win some and you lose some. In the I don't need to know your perverted You're happy fantasies, with the Mike. Case, sir? Over the moon, boys! Gets in the cracks all nice the and DA good. couldn't be more pleased with the evidence... The witness and the lack of an alibi. Now, get out there and catch me another sinner. Now that is disgusting. Uh, the truth hurts, what can then I tell he you? Motor boats his butt. That's gross. That's all kinds of gross. I wouldn't have even thought of anything like that. Are you speaking from experience? Broom broom. <laughs> All right. We're you have the address? It's the alley off Aliso of between Los Angeles and Alameda. You're kidding. The next one will be opposite Central Station. <sighs> Count yourself lucky, Phelps. Most guys would kill to land a case so close to their desk. Yeah. It means they can pop in to hit the office supply of hooch whenever they need it. You know, that ain't a bad idea. That is not a bad idea at all, Phelps. Whoops. Slow and steady, come on! Sorry about that. <laughs> Stay on your side right through of the, the next road. intersection. You're taking the next left. All right. 
on one slash pat spell yep, beta right annie, the notorious blue haired KZ bandit. LOL how the hell did I just get a copyright ding for chrono trigger music in my stream by some other third party than Square Enix, you too by. You ran a red light. <laughs> yeah, YouTube is definitely Detectives. broken. That's why a lot of people are leaving it. <laughs> I'll take you through. Their freaking bots are all messed YouTube up. YouTube is so damn broken. Oh yeah, without a doubt. Oh, for Christ's sake. Brothers, Pinker. Cause of death is pretty apparent. We thought we'd best wait for you. When you're ready. Oh, shit. Damn. Only 21 Boobies. years old. Boobies. But why the library card? Boobs. Did he want us to find it? Tad is. Dead boobies. Around her. Fun bags. <laughs> Bush fats bigger than Harmax. Lick Lacerations the on the neck would indicate a great deal of force. Jesus. Kiss the blood, BD. Why aren't there more saucer boobies in games? Who the hell knows? Another wedding ring to She's the got that 70s bush. Skin under the fingernails. Saucer nipples. Uh, Motorboat her. The evidence in the Muller case was solid. I'm not convinced about men. The <laughs> best way to get away with murder is to pin it on somebody else. I'll bet a month's salary this is a copycat. Strangled, battered, yeah, naked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know the M.O. So does every jerk who kills Good his wife night, and girlfriend ladies. looking for a way out. Harmack be sporting a chub right brown. now. We still believe that yeah, Dalyford has Yeah, I'm gonna have to go to Noah on that one. Four women, all murdered, all put on display, all with messages. Muller had no message. Look, Phelps, this is getting us nowhere. spanking it. Anything for us to go yeah, on, Yeah, that's right. You Head got injuries me. injuries from contact with road. Sploosh. Bruising from a small man's shoe. Further blunt force trauma to the occipital region at the base of the skull. Could have been fatal, but... Clear signs of strangulation would seem to rule it out. Lipstick appears to be a similar color to the other cases. Harm-gasm. I'll see if I can nail down a brand. Alright. Dr. Pervert here is staring at her snatch. Let's see the evidence around. This will have anything to do with it. No. Nope. Those photos are going to end up on hamsterporn.com. <laughs> okay. Uh. Ooh. If she took a blow to the head like the others, she was probably unconscious when striking. One zero eight one P quality. I think I've seen it all. Corpse porn. On one slash. How are your allergies? <sighs> Fucking awful. Is that her tampon? Same here. May as well follow the trail. I had to take another pill about two hours ago. Phelps, you'll want to come and take a look at this. Stupid tree bloomed in front of my house. I'm all out of Allegra D. That's the worst time of the year. Antonia. Huh, same as the library card. Yep, I ran out of one bottle today. Thankfully, I bought two. 
I had a freaking awful sinus headache today. Damn trees. Still saying I got more stuff to find. Hmm. Let's keep looking. Check her coochie. Mike, I hear if you bless your car and post on Facebook your migraine mysteriously vanishes. I really wish they'd make a bigger package of Allegra Dior's Erdic D than 15. Couch, couch, hack, hack. <laughs> LOL, couch. Yeah, the normal Allegra you can get in 3 0 pill bottles. Cough, cough. Not the D, though. Double D. Regular Allegra Dussin. Doesn't help anymore. I should be taking the Allegra D, but it's too much money for two little mons. Amounts. <clears throat> it's more than one dollar per pill. Yeah, if that's is crazy. Hmm. Ask the angry homeless guy statue if he got any for you. <laughs> he tried to sell me fund it. Plus the blood stains. Harmat, no did you get to the Firefly Fun House yet? No, I haven't Ooh. watched it yet. <clears throat> this week's was good. The angry homeless oh, guy statue downtown. Kept the area pristine for you boys. Let's check it out. Uh, Does he sell Lawson's chip dip? I'm weirdly liking the new Bray Wyatt gimmick. Took a couple weeks to grow on me. House keys strung up like bait on a hook. You think he's trying to lead us somewhere? Probably all the way to City Hall. That's what he's in some Did you see that All In was on pay per view? I thought it was just a deal for a double or nothing. 
1.53. In the UK. Whatever show that is on the two fifth. Where are you taking? It's supposed us? to be on PPV here. Yeah, that's the one. I only heard they made a UK deal but not surprised if it was a US deal too, makes sense. I still ain't paying for it lol. Empty. Where is all of this meant to be taking us? He clearly wants us to find these things. He's left them for us. There you go, Phelps. We got a new M.O. I told you it wasn't our guy. Or he might just be getting more confident. That could be. Enameled and gold-plated. This was precious to her. There, Jesus Christ. Have you seen the Superstore Trail episode yet up. that they have an Eric reference yet? Very good shoes to hold your weight like that. Pulled from the finger and hung up here. What's the significance? No, I think I am still too behind. I think the last one I watched was where Dina was dressed like a hooker at Amy's kids' party. Looks as though the killer was decorating with this. That's the one. Shit, I must have missed it. When her daughter got high on the vape pipe. Son of a bitch wants uh. her identified. Mrs. Antonia Maldonado, 712 North Hill Street, downtown. Hmm. This guy is trying to make a point. Okay. Yeah, definitely, Eric. Don't know how I died and think of that. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to go to the address I think we just got. Why not? Antonia residence. By Garrick Bates. It was Mrs. Maldonado, right? That's affirmative. All right, so then there's a husband we should be looking for. Get him? We've closed the case. Ah, uh, Rusty's razor, of course. I don't want to question your tried and tested techniques, Detective Galloway. Don't think he's vaped but again in a while. doesn't the require sound casework before he'll close the book? Not if he's got a confession. And, you he's know, very careful with games. it now. I'm sure. LOL. Take the next left. That damn snowflake. <laughs> you don't need to turn here.
It was funny he had me try it a few weeks ago and it had no effect on me. <laughs> so wait for the next turning and go right. Then has like, well you didn't inhale enough for when the battery was full charged. <laughs> That's because you get a dose every day on the train. LOL. <laughs> Shoot, you get it just sitting at a stoplight nowadays. Such a millennial. <laughs> Lucy, I'm home. <laughs> If anything, I felt a bit more drunk, but I won't like wigging out or anything. Wait just a moment! <laughs> LOL, I typed, wasn't, and it literally said want. <laughs> Sorry, can I help you? It's not the best, LAPD, is it? LAPD, ma'am. <laughs> Detective Phelps and Galloway. Does Mrs. Malvinado live here? Yes, she does. I'm Mrs. Barbara Lepente, the owner of this boarding house. Is there a problem? I'm afraid so, ma'am. Do you mind if we come in? Is there somewhere we can discuss this? Of course. I I'll think this text-to-speech picks its days when it works. Well, Is that Betty White? I need to get one. the minivan out of the shop. Mrs. Maldonado was found dead this morning. I swear yesterday dead? I typed don't, oh, and today no. I typed don't, and she it didn't be. work. I'm afraid she was murdered, ma'am. We need to take a look at her things. I can't believe it. L-O-L-C. A person seems so alive, and then they're gone. And don't Tony's don't. room is upstairs. Last door on the left. Thank you. Door on the we'll be back left. shortly. Uh, excuse us a moment, ma'am. Hey, Cole. Carmack go for the granny panets. Panties. The store on the left. Hmm. Oh, last store on the left. Uh oh, someone tried to Smashed in window there. explains why the place looks tossed. Tossed salad. I feel like just cutting so my nose off. Someone broke in using this thing instead of a crowbar. Wonder where it was taken from. For some reason my G-strings keep separating and okay, unwinding. An I'll just leave this here, and wait on recommendations. WTF. Hmm. LOL what? That whiskey burn tool posted that. LOL. He would. It's freaking snowing in Minnesota right now. <laughs> the charm bracelet wasn't among the crime scene evidence. all of it <laughs> all right well, let's 
Let's go talk to the old lady again. Harmac, are your parents going to release another card in Minnesota? And it will be 80 here tomorrow. They don't live in Minnesota. <laughs> so I'm going to go with no, they won't be releasing a card in Minnesota. <laughs> we have some questions, ma'am, if you're up to it. Yes, Detective. I'll do my best. All right, possible suspect. Do you have any idea who might have wanted to hurt Mrs. Maldonado? That rat of her husband, Angel. She was serving him divorce papers. I killed every wife to serve me papers. Gonna be eight, but murder. raining all day. Are you being <laughs> flippant, young man? No, ma'am. <laughs> She's telling the truth here. What can you tell us about Angel Maldonado? She married him when she was seventeen. Are you being flippant, Del Griffith? He was cruel to her. Very <laughs> cruel. She was a good girl. Little on the religious side, but a good girl. All right, movement to the victim. What time did Antonia go out yesterday? This broad she is lying. Nine. Do you know where she went? No, I, I have no idea. She was a good girl, but she didn't confide in me. Lies. She's an old crow. She's not looking at me this time. She's lying. A nosy old hag like you knows everything about the people who live under her roof. Where did she go? I think she went to a bar. Oh, damn. She, been she looks like a Hillary lately. Clinton. This bar have a name? Colorado <laughs> Bar. It's a Latino place on North Los Angeles Street. That's only a couple a of blocks nosy old hag. found the body. Damn, he called her a nosy old hag. <laughs> damn, of... Latinos. Evidence of break-in. You've had a break-in? No. That can't be true. Build that oh, wall. come on. You're being economical with the truth, Mrs. Lepenti. What do you have to hide? I have no idea what you are talking about. Have you been upstairs, you old coot? <laughs> you know she heard it. She's nosy. <laughs> Broken window. So Antonia lost her keys and used an iron bar to jimmy the back window? I heard a noise in the early hours of the morning. I thought it might be a raccoon at the milk bottles. It'd be Build very the bad box. business if this news got out. I have a reputation to protect. Raccoon, that is racist. <laughs> Kill the hag. Break down a marriage. Antonia and her husband were estranged? Yes. She moved here after she separated from her husband two months ago. But Antonia still wore a wedding ring? She wore the wedding ring and a necklace. She always wore a religious necklace. That's about all of her jewelry. Oh, you're lying. You stole the damn brooch, didn't you? She looked away. Yeah, she did. What about did. a bracelet? I don't know anything about a bracelet. Oh, come on. Ah. Lies. In her wedding photo, she's displaying a charm bracelet. That thing? She never wore it. He gave it to her. She always kept it in that wooden jewelry box. She's the neighborhood busybody. Hey, oh, yeah. That husband of hers. She's like the Lucky town crier. <laughs> throw away the cake. We can either front Angel, seeing as the finger's pointing right at her. Or we could check out the El Dorado bar. Does she offer people popsicles? <laughs> Where'd our car go? And give out quarters on Halloween. <laughs> She's one of those people that give you pennies. <laughs> Alright, we're going to El Dorado bar. She gives put rolled up newspaper on the old Halloween. hag? Ah! And I thought I was coming Has anybody the seen my spectacles? Line. Sometimes you have to be firm to get the information you need. God damn it, ain't that the truth? In your testicles. You don't think it's strange that all Hello. these murders are happening to girls who've been out drinking? No, no. A broad drink. Was hoping she you'd gets get a bit the tight, one. She starts mouthing off. This leads to that, and she ends up in Laughing. an alleyway. It's a sad story, but this town's seen it play out a thousand times, Cole. Why don't you want to see a connection here? 
because there are perfectly good real life suspects for every one of these murders. We don't need to go looking for the monster under the bed. Huh. I think there's anything to the divorce angle? I need a good high quality Beavis and Butthead collection. No big deal. That's of my favorite episodes. But Angel, he's a young Latino man. He would hurt a sense of who he is. He'd see himself as a failure, a woman taking control of his life. That is my favorite life. episode. Then she fronts him and he snaps. Works for me. Couch that fishing. Makes Angel a killer as well as a piece of shit. Okay, so go left at the next one. Come on, get out of the way. I have all them on HDD, including music videos. You're making a right at the next intersection. Who would dump this box of prunes on the sidewalk? Prunes suck. El Dorado. <laughs> What can I get you? LAPD. Detectives Phelps and Galloway. Diego Aguilar. How can I help? You work the oh, bar Oh no, another night. elderly yeah. woman flying Being down the street. The Will they never learn? Did you have a woman in here last night? 21 <laughs> years old, Hispanic, drinking heavily. We have a lot of ladies like that in here. But yeah, I know who you mean. Antonia Maldonado. Oh, what did she do? She was murdered last night. Oh, shit. Do you know her well? Was she a regular? Hell no. But she was good and tight last night, complaining about her old man. It's a story you get used to working in a bar. <laughs> she was so hammered last night, she left a letter on the bar. I'll show you. <sighs> My eggs were running. Let's see what she wrote. Whoa, I heard you get a wicked head rush if you breath prune box air. Divorce papers? Did you open them? No need to. She was shouting about it and waving the letter around. Said she was going to show him. Proper person in Central District Court. Next week to the petition on the grounds of cruelty. Wow. Your wife should not be divorced from bonds of matrimony. Wow. Woo. Is that a Mad Libs? Yeah, right? I guess it's the 40s version of a form letter. LOL. <laughs> Uh, missing jewelry. Can you remember what jewelry she was wearing? She had a necklace. Some kind of religious thing, I think. The temp guy would have more of an idea. She took the beer he served her and cried into it all night. What time did she leave? Can't say for sure. Uh, this guy is good, but... Ah, uh, you know, no. Where did she go? Give me something or the LAPD will start getting interested in this place. Take it easy. She wanted a cab, okay? <laughs> and my phone was out of order. The closest one I knew was at the fruit market across the street, so I suggested she try there. She seemed reluctant. All right, movement of victim. Did Antonia say where she was going when she left? She said she was going to serve the papers on the husband. Said that would take the smile off his face. If you ask me, she was scared, and the drink was for Dutch courage. Ah, liquid courage as we know it today. Eh, tell the truth. She attract any interest? An extremely drunk young woman? What do you think? She managed to scare them off, though. Thanks. You've been a big help. No problem. Hey, get the guy, will you? We'll do our best. One last question. What size shoe do you take, Mr. Aguilar? A broad nine. I have white feet. Well, you're not the guy. Right. Do, do, do. 
You drove me up to Mulholland and we did some necking. <laughs> Out of order. So, uh, how's your tuna fish salad? Sir, do you work here? Sorry, pal, just making deliveries. From where? Just pick fruit market across the street. A fruit market delivers here? Yeah, sure does. The Mexes love a little slice with their tequila. <laughs> Fine, thanks. Huh, interesting. The hell's our car? Oh, shit. Okay, I guess I... Wrong door. I'm kind of glad I went that way. My eggs were runny. That sucks for you. How can I say? All right. Where are we going here? All right. Where should we go? Fuck. Um. Just go to the residence place first. Yeah, How about we drop in on the husband instead? See if your gut is right. I'll take a bar over a husband every day of the week. Atta boy, up there you go right now. You need to turn left at the next junction. Get out of the way. We're taking the next left. Through this intersection. Alright, let's see the husband. Aldonado is in apartment 304. Okie dokie. Is there an elevator? <laughs> oh, come on, there's got to be an elevator. No? Up we go. This could turn ugly. Forget about knocking. Let's take our boy by surprise. <laughs> hey, what the fuck? LAPD, motherfucker. You're under arrest. Stand down. Now, now look. I don't want no trouble, see? This is going to end in... Come quietly, Mr. Maldonado. Some decent shots in there. <sighs> Cuff these sons of bitches, Felt. LAPD, you two are under arrest. Call for some backup, Finbar. Ha <laughs> ha. Fuckers. What the hell is that? Galloway, badge number 564. I need a prowl car at the apartment building 330 North Hill Street. Two suspects need transporting to Central. Your wife has been murdered, Angel. Finn Balor. Antonia? Oh, God, no! <laughs> Where were you last night, Angel? I was here with my brother the whole night, God damn it! You think I could kill my own wife? Maybe. <laughs> Figured the whole place is going over. 
and talk to the neighbor. Will do. And Phelps, I don't care that you just got smacked in the head. You don't call me Finbar. room. Okay. Probably nothing. Just picked Fruit Market. Chinatown. I wonder if Angel gets all his groceries from this place. <laughs> nice. The El Dorado must be a family favorite. <laughs> This will take some explaining. Let's see. Maybe one of the neighbors took notice of Angel's movements. He's got no alibi. He's toast. Well, I did say we should talk to a neighbor. LAPD, ma'am. Did you hear a disturbance last night? Yes. Yes, I did. Mrs. Maldonado lit out of here and her husband ran out after her. You saw this, Miss? Aranda. I had the door open a crack. Did you see Mr. Maldonado come back inside after he ran out? No. <laughs> I didn't. Thanks. We'll be in touch. <laughs> I kept thinking you were going to call that one a nosy old hag, too, Phelps. <laughs> well executed restraint. I'm executing restraint right now, Finbar. <laughs> he really hates being called Finbar. I love it. We can call and find out. Operator, give me R and I. <clears throat> Putting you through now. Phelps badge twelve forty seven. Messages, please. Message from Captain Donnelly, Detective. Your presence is requested urgently at Central Station. A new letter from the Dahlia Killer has been found. Thanks for your help. Well, looks like we're going to Central Police Station. Oh, how nice. Okay, off we go. Ah. Uh, Stairs. Yeah. 
He takes too long by running. Central Police Station. Bullseye. Another letter? I thought the letter was from a nut. These letters? Brown and Hanson believe they are genuine. From him. And now we sent another. You know, I really hate this fuck. This black gal you got. You seen the body? Fucking case just gnaws away at your gut. Hollywood. Every prom queen from every fucking hick town in America turns up here. Where do they end up? Gut in the fucking sidewalk. Watch where you're driving, you maniac! It wasn't me that hit him. Alright, Central Police District. The captain is waiting for you downstairs with Pinker. Yeah, I'm thinking of moving up to the third line. I want to put him down in one round. Right, let's go downstairs. Wherever that is, let's see. Ah. <laughs> now that's an oxymoron for you. Holding cells. All right. Boys, come on in. Oh, uh, shit. Have you met Finnis Brown? Pleased to meet you, sir. This information is confidential and doesn't leave this room. The new letter was left in the back seat of a cab. The driver thinks it was put through the window and not left by a customer. We're checking all the spares back 24 hours regardless. Good. Like the previous letters, <clears throat> it's been assembled from headlines and typed from the Times and Examiner, then glued to an envelope. What is the other note? This one? That's also new. A poem, hand typed. Do you mind if I take a look? Go ahead. We've been over both documents pretty carefully. They've been wiped with gasoline, so there's no chance of prints. That's the message from the Celine Henry case. You would not give a square deal. Lucky. Oh, real deal. Fuck you. BD. Text. Keep upon thy soul by virtue of this curse. That's why we called you in. Do you think it's original? <laughs> Not unless he's a genius. You like this nut job's poem? No, I like Shelley. It was written at least 100 years ago. Shelley? Sure, I knew that. You see, Finnis? I told you this lad was a bright boy. Sure, but what does it got to do with the case? Prometheus Unbound. Prometheus was a titan. A superhuman character who defied the gods to bring fire to humanity. The Dahlia guy believes he's Superman. Your guess is as good as mine. One thing for sure is that he's educated. What about the link to the Henry case? He could have got the wording from the papers. As you said, he is fiendishly clever and takes pleasure in taunting us. What's happening with the Maldonado case? We have the husband in custody. We haven't interviewed him yet. 
Went upstairs then, lads, and see if we can break him. Ah, and break him we will. <laughs> All right. Let's go see Mole. Maldonero, or Donano, or whatever the hell his name is. <laughs> now that's an oxymoron for you. Improved your attitude, Angel? Probably not. What do you want me to say? I was with Antonia the night she died, but she left the apartment, and that was the last time I saw her. Last contact with the So your wife room. paid you a visit last night? What time was that? Late, around midnight, maybe. She didn't stay long. Now, dude, you followed her. You're Come lying, on. Angel. You went after her. The lady I think you killed her. So. You're out of your mind. Her brother will tell you I was at home. Husband's alibi. We have a witness who confirms that you are arguing that your wife ran out that you followed her and didn't come back. I know this looks bad, but it's not true. We argued, all right, but she went out and I went out after her and she jumped in a car on the corner. There was a car waiting for her? Can you describe the driver? Not the driver. It was too dark. But the car, it was a brown Ford Coupe. Okay, divorce proceedings. You and your wife weren't getting along. She was divorcing you. Is that why you killed her? We fought, yeah, but we weren't getting a divorce. Oh, man, he doesn't know anything about that. Ah, ha, ha. You deny killing Liar. your wife? Oh, I was wrong. Of course I deny it. Why would I kill my woman? I should have... Uh, he looked like he was telling the truth. I should have thought about that. I have the damn divorce papers on me. That was a stupid mistake. Jewelry taken from the body. When we found your wife, her Shit. jewelry had been removed. Was she wearing her religious medallion last night? Sure. She always wore that. Here's a lion, bitch. Yeah, I screwed that one up. See, now this time he's telling the truth, yeah. What about the charm bracelet? Was she wearing that? Damn. You know about that? She never wore it. She didn't like the message. She kept it locked up in that box of hers. And bloodstained shirt found. Your wife has been brutally murdered. So how do you explain your shirt being covered in blood? You found that? I cut myself shaving. That was a hell of a cut. Oh, you lying sack of shit. Angel, I'm not going to waste any more time on this. Give me something or I'm going to have you charged. My brother, Hippolito. He said some bad things about Antonia last night. Well, he should be dead so from that. We got into <laughs> no it. shit, just yell the fuck. Keep talking. Thing. His face should look like Freddy Krueger. El Dorado Bar. And? It's not one of my places. We used to uh -huh. buy fruit at the market down the street. But the creep there was always running his eyes all over my wife. What's the name of this fruit market? Just picked fruit. Ord Street downtown. One last question, Angel. Do the words kiss the blood mean anything to you? No. Sounds sick to me. You're not in the clear by any means, Angel. You're going back into a cell. You should think about whether you have anything else you need to share with us. <sighs> I got the jitters again. Uh-oh. We got an alcoholic cop. <laughs> yeah, let's go check out that fruit market place. What's your read on Maldonado? I still like him for it. Seriously, that line about the guy at the fruit market making eyes at his woman? Please. Yeah, we'll get to the market and the guy behind the counter will tell us he saw Angel drag his old lady off into the night. This case will be shut like all the others. It's left at the next intersection. We're going straight here.
Take the next right. All right, next right. Your other right. Just picked fruit market. Always fresh. We now call that Boston Market or Pete's Market. Or Aldi. <laughs> the handbag was left just up there, overlooking the market. Just picked our market. Should have come here from the start and saved ourselves a day's legwork. Let's see. Well, I guess we talked to this guy. He's kind of in the light here. Sir, I'm the. Wait, you look familiar. Hey, from the bar, right? <laughs> what brings you here? LAPD, Detective Phelps and Galloway. Clem Feeney. What can I do for you? Did you happen to see a young woman last night? 21 years old, Hispanic? Sure, she came by last night. Why do you ask? Uh, dis distinctive necklace. She was wearing a necklace? I didn't notice. You weren't paying attention, Feeney? Hey, you're getting the wrong idea. Uh, <laughs> you liar. <laughs> you were looking. Exactly how much fruit <laughs> do you sell here after midnight, Clem? Uh... Look, not much. I sell the odd bottle on the side to the after-hours crowd. Kellogg's Court. Well, I don't place. want any trouble. I'm just trying to make a buck. All right, contact with the victim. The young lady arrived around midnight? Yeah, something like that. Used the phone for a cab and then left. Uh, <laughs> you can't look. You liar. Come on, dude. You already knew Mrs. Maldonado, didn't you, Clem? Sure, I met her before. Uh, she seemed like a nice lady. Her husband went apeshit one day when he caught me talking to her. She hadn't been back until last night. Movement of victims. Where did she go from here? She wanted a cab, but I couldn't get her one. I was about to offer to drive her, but a car pulled up and she got into that. And now that he's telling the truth on. Can you describe the car? Brown Ford Coupe, I think. She seemed to know the guy. Huh. A lot of brown Ford Do you mind coupes. if we look around? Why would you want to do that? Because we say so. I guess you can. Don't you have to get a court order or something? I have rights. Clem? Shh. <laughs> well, it's pointing me in this direction, so I'm assuming I go here. Holy balls. No wonder he stays open late at night. People have to get their vitamins. Check through this stuff before we get back out there. Wow. Why cut someone who was already dead? It's a typical power thing. Once the stiff is dead, the creep usually feels they can do whatever they like. They must have seen it during the war. <clears throat> nah, nothing there. So what are we hiding in here? This thing needs a combination. Uh, it was three, no, two, five, three, if I remember right. Five, three. Aha, that was right. The Mary. Uh, why is 
for me, your husband, says the Lord. Pray three for the husband. I got a call back to that universal porn client. This body. I'm Jesus Savior. Huh. This fruit stall punk gets about ten seconds to explain before I pull his fucking arms off. <laughs> Clem! Oh shit, he's running. God damn it, get after him, Cole! I'll try to shoot out his tires. Wish me luck. We should have grabbed him when we had the chance, Phelps. When we had the chance, we didn't know he was our guy. Don't go to sleep on me. Get me back in close. Strange that he leave a trail of blood right back to his own market. Maybe he wanted to be caught. A lot of them do. It's almost too perfect, isn't it? There's no such thing as too perfect. Hit it! Clean this asshole off the road. Keep it steady and I'll try to bust his tires! <laughs> Pit maneuver, baby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you go uh, you went You're a down sick buddy. man Clem. you need help yeah he does <clears throat> wow that was cool outstanding job on this case gentlemen the poor woman can now rest in peace I'll pay the fee and the personal visit myself and remind them the crime in this city does not go unpunished when they finish with him at the receiving hospital, we'll have him up before the grand jury. I have a meeting this afternoon with the mayor, Lance. I'll be sure to mention your names. Now, on your way. On your way. Wasn't that nice? He took some liquor for himself. Hey, you gotta pay for it, man. Hey, Angel might be innocent, but he was far from forthcoming on the state of his marriage. Yeah, he was. Five star, baby. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Uh, Sarge, why are the guys giving it to the doggies? They're riding in Flashback. trucks, numbskull, while you're marching. They look pretty badly beat up. Yeah, they do it then. Scuttlebutt says it's pretty hard going down south. Yeah, we'll find out soon enough. Recon always leads. How can we fail, Skip, with the shadow leading the show? Who the fuck is a shadow? Lieutenant Phelps, the shadow of death. What the fuck are you talking about? He's a quiet fucker, Sarge. You never hear the bastard coming. You're sitting there, field stripping a cigarette, and suddenly he's there looking down on you. Why do you think we keep saluting that jab loving son of a bitch? He's bad juju. That's enough out of you three. Bad juju? Where were you dragged up? A swamp? <laughs> Gone down to the bayou. <laughs> All right. The white shoe slaying. It was a cold night on the streets of LA. Rain. A bus. Off comes a lady in white shoes. The rain comes down just like tears off of the body. And a car. She's drunk as hell. <laughs> Yes, she is. Good morning, gentlemen, and what a grand morning it is, too. Oh, yeah. We have just cause for celebration. Galloway and Phelps are sending another fiend to San Quentin. A nice show of trial, and he'll be strapped down with gas seeping into his tiny reptile brain. Now, 
to fresh business. Galloway and Phelps, the task is at hand. The address is on the hill, north downtown off Fremont Avenue. All right. Skipper, is the new letter genuine? Now, boys, we all know how many imbeciles have confessed in the short case. Ray Pinker will let us know in good time. All right, on that note, we are going to call it a night. About and the time, eh, Harmac? Yeah. Yeah, that's what we're doing. We're heading out for the night. But uh, we'll be back on Sunday. We'll continue this off. Let's continue this where we left off, so don't forget. If you want to be notified when I'm coming on, make sure you click that follow button. You get a follow back from me, but you can also follow me on Twitter, at DJ Harmack. And don't forget to subscribe to Later our YouTube Hallmark. channel. <laughs> subscribe to our YouTube channel. YouTube.com slash escape show. It's updated daily. Get new videos and all that stuff. Uh, but don't forget also tune in tomorrow on Twitch. Twitch.com or Twitch.tv slash escape show. Or Twitch.tv slash Omni1 slash or OMN1 SLASH. As me and Al do our gaming chat. Uh, so make sure you tune in for that. And this, this uh, Let's Play will continue Sunday at 10 Eastern right here on Harmac 1. So once again, thank you guys for tuning in. You guys have been awesome all week, and we will see you again on Sunday. But don't forget to tune in tomorrow for Game and Chat. And uh, we'll see you then. Good night, guys. Be safe. Have a great weekend. Peace.